welcome to the second lesson. Just to kind of put a bit of a spin, I thought it would be useful for us to focus on programming and just revisit that. The purpose of this lesson is to revisit declaring and assigning variables and constants and revisiting programming constructs, including iteration and selection. Now, a lot of the things might be quite useful to you, so I'm not going to go through the basics. I'm just going to talk about the key terms and then I'm going to give you some tasks which you can get your teeth into and start programming. Hopefully you are familiar with the key terms, constants and variables, functions, library, routines and procedures. They're on screen. I'm not going to go through them. I'm sure you can pause the video and read through those. Do get back to me if there's something that stands out, but it's pretty straightforward stuff and you know this inside out. What I am interested in is whether you can code something within a time limit or perhaps create something which is unique. So the first program I'm going to ask you to write, which should take you about 10 minutes or less than that, is to write a program that can calculate and output the volume and surface area of a sphere for any radius, which is input. The identifiers are there, the calculations are there. Think about what type of input is required and what type of data types you're going to be using. The second program I want you to focus on, which shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes, is to write a program that can check the length of a password and that the first letter and the last letter of the password input is correct. So there are two validations that you need to code. Identifiers are there. There are some tips on Python commands that you can use to perhaps solve this but you might want to think about nested if functions and perhaps put a while loop or something that asks for the password, checks it three times and then exits and gives a message that you entered the incorrect password, something like that. Bit of a fun programming challenge. See if you can do that. Between the two programs, you probably will be spending at least 25 to 30 minutes on it. If you can't solve it and if it takes you longer, that's fine. Take your time with it. If you do get stuck, remember to share those repls with me so I can support virtually as well. All right. Take care. Bye for now.